Well, I have an idea. Anybody see one of these things before? This is one of these strobe lights that go on top of a tow truck or, you know, some type of vehicle like that. Snow plow. They flash in different colors. Well, what I did is I um, took it all apart because I don't need this portion of it whatsoever. So, what I mean by I took it apart is that there's really nothing left to it except the trunk of aluminum and the lens itself. So what I did is I removed the unit. This is basically the brain of it. Makes the whole thing operate. There's the strobe tube which emits the light, the flashing light. And I'm going to show you how it works. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. You can see down here Sorry for the lighting if the lighting's not all that good, but it's what I have to work with. So hopefully everybody can understand and get past that moment. You see down here, there's a little adjuster, which this adjusting screw adjusts the pulsing of that light. And what I mean by that is that that strobe can either go in a slow or in a fast mode. And I'm going to show you. Let me just get this hooked up to the battery here. You can hear it, you're gonna hear it make a sound and that's basically winding up. It's, it's gathering the uh, voltage needed and then before it's gonna release it into that tube. So I'll show you this here. You can hear it. It's pulling the power from the batteries, 12 volts, building itself up and then releasing itself into that strobe tube. And that's where the light's coming from. So I'm going to give a little adjustment here and I'm going to show you. You'll hear, you'll hear it. You see the pulsing it's making? It's much, much faster. There's some noises outside. The little fellas are kind of getting curious. Throwing a little bark towards. So I'll reduce it. So there's that. You got the idea how that works. Give myself some room here. I'm going to move these batteries out of the way. Just use these two little wee small batteries as a kind of a power pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a battery desulfator. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to remove this bulb, this tube. And I'll find the right, oh, I hurt my finger. Cut it open, wide open. Anyhow, that's where the bulb leads go to. You can see these leads here. So I'm gonna find the right ones that are actually powering this, the positive and the negative. And then I'm gonna put diodes, basically, Like so, you know, not exactly like that, but roughly like that. And then I'm gonna put basically leads, wires coming out of these leads. Two of these are gonna actually go together. I just don't know which two yet. And then there'll be the positive and the negative. And what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna pulsate that back into the battery itself. So as that's gonna take current from the battery and go through its little mechanisms in here, and stores it in the capacitor, and then it releases itself through this port, this output here, then it's gonna actually go through the diodes, one-way diodes, so I don't have to any back power going into the unit itself, cause it to burn out. And then I'm gonna pulse it right back into right, right back into the battery. So it's gonna be basically a homemade battery desulfator, but I'm just using one piece to solve another problem. And my, by meaning that is I'm basically, it's not all that complicated to do it. It's not any kind of designing that I have to come up with. I'm just using the old strobe light in the unit, the brain unit. And I, I believe it's gonna make a really, really good battery desulfator. Mr. Dog? 
dog here. So I wanted to wanted to share that with everybody. This here tube itself will no longer be used, and all the current developed within this little unit will pulsate itself back into the battery. There's a stray dog here. That's why you hear all the noise in the background. I'll have to go outside there and tell him to go back to his house. I'm going to get a little box, mount this in a little box, make it nice and neat and tidy and pretty looking. Well, thank you for watching, folks. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you very much for those that have.